Excuse me, sir. Do you know what the f they just said? Wait, wait, wait. Don't ask them what they want to order. I need to hear if they can stay. That sounded mildly racist. I checked my uh, emails and text messages to see the last time I was here. It was in March of 2022. And I asked my Uber driver if anything had changed, and she said, shit's been the same here for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed in Omaha at all. It's cool. Yeah, I've been trying. Every time I come to a city, I try to learn something about it, you know. And I learned that obviously Warren Buffett is here, and also the Reuben sandwich was invented here in Omaha, home of the smartest man on the planet and the stupidest sandwich ever invented. <laughs> Corn beef on rye, what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Do you hate yourselves? <laughs> so stupid, what a stupid sandwich. There's so much better stuff, just why not white bread? Why not just, let's punish ourselves. And then, you know, my Uber driver, she was, she was an interesting person. I was like, so what's, what's fun to do here in Omaha? And she said, you could go downtown and take a bridge to Iowa. <laughs> and, uh, so leave, you could leave. <laughs> and you know, whenever I come to like the Midwest or the South or whatever, I I usually take a long drive. It's usually a long drive for me. Uh, I'd like to rent a car and just go on a drive. And you see, I was telling Paula, I was like, I'm seeing all these churches and places God clearly left a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> As a Hindu, I, I find that funny. <laughs> Paula seemed a little irked. And I tried to change the subject. I said, Paula, what's the, what's the main industry here? And she looked in the rear view mirror, took her glasses off and said, beef. <laughs> it's a true story. She, she was quiet after that. I knew, I knew that would work. You know, what bothered me is that, not that she was talking, but that it was just so slow. Like, what? <laughs> Y'all think you're going to die soon, so you got to appreciate every breath? That's, this is the pace at which she was talking. I don't mean to insult you guys, but, you know, uh, some of you will get it later. <laughs> so this is going to be a fun show. I do have notes, I'm not gonna lie to you. I haven't been on stage in uh, quite a while and I've got a theater tour coming up from September to December of this year, going from London to Madison Square Garden. Uh, so, yes, I'm, yeah, so, you know, I have to come to the Midwest to see what jokes work. <laughs> this is where shit is tried out. No offense, this is actually one of, this is my favorite part of the process. You know, I get to fuck around and hold you guys hostage. <laughs> Stop pretending like there's better stuff to do. <laughs> We're gonna watch fucking minor league baseball. <laughs> That's why I like coming to the middle of the country, because y'all know what you're about. That's fun. But let's, let's gauge this crowd. You, sir, you look like you stopped drinking Bud Light for political reasons. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, how, did you, how did you hear about the show? <laughs> okay. What's your name? Mitchell? Nice to meet you, Mitch. And Kelly Ann. Kelly and Julia from Nebraska. Yes.
Mitchell. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you know what the fuck they just said? <laughs> You've been wondering your whole life too, huh? <laughs> Repeat that, please. Wait, wait, wait. Don't ask them what they want to order. I need to hear if they can stay. <laughs> that sounded mildly racist. No, no, I don't want you to sing at all because I did not hear a single note. <laughs> that was quite flat. <laughs> what I want is the lyrics. It's save big money. Save big money at Menards. At Menards. <laughs> the mystery demons. Mitchell, what the fuck is Menards? <laughs> Are you, you sure you came with these two? Did you come on your own volition? <laughs> what is Menards? Some kind of store that... Hmm. Is that where you bought those shirts? You bought it at a market. What? So, okay. It's a Menards font. It's, it says, what? It says Nebraska. You don't have to keep doing this part. <laughs> Stop trying to get me to look at your titties. <laughs> Corn fed. Mm. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's, a, it's a home improvement store called Menards in the Midwest. That's the jingle. Okay. Save big money at Menards. I give it, I give it three years before Home Depot's like, nah. <laughs> that jingle will be dead soon. Have they, been along, have they been around for a while? What's that? A minute. That's how, that's how the youth say a long time. <laughs> God, I got my liquor store, my parents' liquor store did not have a jingle, but I, what, your name again? What was your name again? Julia, Julia and Kelly. Kelly and Mitchell. <laughs> got it. You ever start a conversation with someone be like, man, I should not have done that? <laughs> Like you ask your Uber driver how the day is going, then they respond, you're like, oh my bad, bro, I don't care at all. This is, <laughs> I was just being polite. Now I gotta take my AirPod out and pretend to give a fuck. <laughs> Save big money at the no. You know what the sad part is, is that you know, this is, this is how I believe the brain works, is that uh, whenever something comes in, something goes out. <laughs> and I don't really, I, I'm rueful of what song just got erased from my memory. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know I'm going to be singing along to Hey Jude at some point and be like, Hey, big mo what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well, we know how you heard about the show, and I have to get off TikTok. Uh, the, uh, uh, uh. Clap if you're here from TikTok, Instagram, all that nonsense. Excellent. You all watch me while you shit, huh? Excellent, excellent. Thank you very much. And then... Clap if you don't know me at all. You're just here because your friend dragged you. You're like, all right, let's go have a good time. You? You? You too, Kelly? You too. And what was your name? Minute Man? You. That's you. You are Minute Man. <laughs> you guys are friends? Family. Who's who? Your cousin, your mom, your girlfriend. You look fucking great. 
How old are you? How old? 45. God damn, I got to get me some fucking Nebraska water. This shit. Sorry, Logan. I don't mean to hit on your mom, but. How old are you, Logan? 21. Okay, that makes sense. 24. That's weird. I'm 37 years old, so I could fuck either of them. That's fine. <laughs> it don't matter. <laughs> New York, December 30th, theater at Madison Square Garden. I'm gonna be here. Get tickets, bassandloosetour.com. That's me. It is fucking impossible to shoot shit in Times Square. The billboard's up for four seconds. Everyone's looking at you crazy. Oh shit, it's me again. Yeah, that's me. Look, that's crazy, ain't it? Bassandloosetour.com. Get tickets. Stand up comedy. <laughs> we did it.